everyone, and uh, thanks for the opportunity to be here. And I realize I'm between you and the coffee, so I'll try to keep to my time. So I'm pleased to introduce Kodiak Sciences, which is an ophthalmology-focused company in Palo Alto. We're publicly traded. I'd refer you to our forward-looking statement, as well as the investor section of our website. So the mission at Kodiak is to become a leading ophthalmology medicines company, initially leveraging <clears throat> excuse me, uh, some really unique science based on phosphorylcholine biopolymers, which I'll describe, to develop best-in-class medicines for key causes of vision loss. So what's the first problem to be solved? This is one that I think those of us who've worked on anti-VEGFs for a long time are increasingly familiar and also frustrated by, which is that intravitreal anti-VEGF improves vision when dosed frequently per the label, but minimum visual gains are achieved in the real world. We see this with all the current therapies. We see this globally. It's not a country-specific phenomenon. And it's very frustrating to see this gap between the clinical trial world and the real world when really we're seeing like an epidemic of preventable vision loss in all of these patients with AMD and diabetes and so on. Why does this happen? The current therapies don't last long enough in the eye. This results in a very high treatment burden that is very difficult to sustain for many patients and physicians. And I think everyone's familiar with this, so not to belabor it. So what's Kodiak's solution? We're designing and developing what we call antibody biopolymer conjugates for increased durability and efficacy. So with this platform, we take an antibody. In this case, uh, the first one is an anti-VEGF antibody. And we covalently link it to a unique custom-built nine-arm biopolymer made out of phosphorylcholine. Phosphorylcholine has some really interesting and exciting biophysical properties. Uh, which I can talk to you about a little bit in the talk and then afterwards. And this results in a very large medicine, uh, in this case 950 kilodaltons, that stays in the eye for a long time. And the polymer is not just dumb mass. It doesn't just make it bigger. It has a number of other interesting special features that we'll get into. So when you think about what would you want for a medicine that should last a long time in the eye, you want to keep the things that we know work, clinically proven target, a biologic-based therapy, an intravitreal method of administration, you want it to be optically clear. You don't want it to degrade and leave residues in the eye. And you want fast and potent clinical responses so the patient knows that the, the medicine is working for them. But you want to fix the things that don't work. So we want to have better durability, rapid systemic clearance, better tissue bioavailability, better safety, and better stability for a medicine that needs to last at body temperature for months on end. So Kodiak is developing a pipeline of these ABCs for retinal disease. Monoclonal medicine, uh, monoclonal based ones, where you have one molecule that hits one target. We also have a bispecific program, uh, it inhibits VEGF and IL-6, so one biopolymer conjugate that hits two targets. And then we're also starting to do some work with small molecules, where you can take, for instance, a bispecific antibody and dope the polymer with hundreds of copies of a small molecule medicine. That can be really useful for complex multifactorial diseases like glaucoma and dry MD, where you may need to bring multiple biologies to bear in a way that we haven't been able to do before. So KSI-301 is an anti-VEGF ABC that optimizes both molecular weight and formulation strength for durability. So as I said, it's a molecular weight of 950 kilodaltons. We have a high concentration, five milligrams by weight of antibody. This results in a high molar starting dose, about sevenfold higher than Lucentis, and over time, an increasing concentration advantage. So the biopolymer of KSI-301 imparts a really nice PK curve. So if you look on the left, you can see the relatively steep curve of Lucentis, slightly better for ILEA. And then KSI-301 has a much flatter PK curve, which gives you the potential for extended durability. But also, the polymer provides better tissue bioavailability, about eightfold better than ILEA, better stability, deeper potency, and a best-in-class toxicology profile. We previously reported at angiogenesis and ARVO on a single ascending dose phase one study in DME patients where we saw high magnitude responses that were durable in the median data out to 12 weeks. This is a nice case example of a patient previously treated with uh, Avastin uh, who had a very rapid onset improvement in both vision and OCT that was sustained through the 12 weeks of the study. And this patient was then um, subsequently not retreated by the physician out until 22 weeks after the initial dose. So very nice response. We're currently running a nearly complete re with recruitment of an open-label phase 1B study where we're looking in treatment-naive patients with wet AMD, DME, and RVO. All these patients receive three initiating doses of KSI-301 and then are followed uh, for retreatment based on the protocol. 
Initial data will be presented uh, here at ASRS on Saturday at 11.48 p.m., or excuse me, a.m., by uh, Praveen Dougal. P.m. Is the, is the after party. Uh, so then we're starting, uh, also about to start a phase two study in wet AMD, head to head against the Flibercept, uh, with uh, KSI 301 dosed as infrequently as every 20 weeks. So all the patients in the KSI 301 group will get 12 week, 16 week, or 20 week dosing. So we're very excited about this study that's uh, set to begin recruitment very soon. So just to summarize, Kodiak Sciences is, de is developing novel antibody biopolymer conjugates based on the unique and exciting technology of phosphorylcholine biopolymers. KSI 301 is an anti-VEGF ABC with encouraging phase one clinical results. We're executing on a comprehensive clinical strategy in retinal vascular diseases for KSI 301, where we believe that we can show really important differentiation on durability for all the key indications. Initial data will be presented here at ASRS, and we're developing a pipeline of these therapies for complex uh, and important uh, retinal vascular diseases, and in the future, dry MD and glaucoma. Thanks very much, and happy to take questions at the break.